Hello and welcome to Zombicide in about 3 minutes. This video will focus on the Zombicide core set and there will be a second video breaking down the differences between the different Zombicide sets and expansions. It is a game for 1-6 to six players. It has a solo mode. The game takes anywhere up to 3 hours depending on your scenario. It is a moderately complex game. The dead walk the earth. Well, more like amble and limp around the earth. They are slow and stupid, and that's been working in your favor. But they are also endless in number and hunger, and that's a bit more of a problem. You and your crew are scavenging equipment and working quickly to complete objectives before the horde gets out of control. Time to crank up the chainsaw and start a zombicide. Before you set up the game, you will need to pick a scenario from the book, and they have different objectives. The players win the game if they complete those objectives without all getting eaten by zombies. Cooperative. The players work together and control a group of survivors. Dice. Zombicide frequently has you rolling a lot of dice for actions. Character development. Your survivors improve as the game goes on, but the game adjusts to that as well. Player turn. Play starts with the first player, who activates all their survivors, passing to the next player when they are done. Each survivor has three actions available to them each round. The most common ones are move, search, melee combat, range combat, and opening doors. Searching may only be done once per character per turn, and it must take place in either a car or an enclosed room. You turn over the top card of the search deck and either take it or discard it. You can find weapons, supplies, parts for a molotov, or even zombies this way. To open a door, you need the right piece of equipment. Some unlock doors quietly, and others loudly. Draw one zombie card for each room in the building you've unlocked, place zombies in those areas, and then show that the door is now unlocked. You can fight zombies in your space with a ranged weapon, if it has range 0 as an option. But more commonly, you will fight with a melee weapon. Roll dice as shown on the card, and remove zombies for each hit you make. Range combat works much the same way, except at range. Choose an area within the weapon's range and roll to hit, removing zombies for each hit you make. Range is also limited to line of sight, and you can only see into the next area within a building. For example, this area would be out of line of sight for the shooter. Movement allows you to move one area per move action. You can move out of areas with zombies, but it is very difficult. Some actions also cause noise, which impact on how the zombies move. Once all players have acted, move the zombies towards a character they can see, or the loudest noise source if they cannot see a character. Draw zombie cards, and place zombies at each entry point. It is now the next turn. Why would you like this game? While some zombie games focus on tension or survival, Zombicide focuses on action. It's about piling up kills and rolling buckets of dice, and it makes it a much lighter and sillier experience. It can still be a brutally tough game and appeal to those people who like a cooperative or solo challenge. The miniatures are also top quality, as one has come to expect from Cool Mini or not. The single best thing about the game is the leveling up and rising difficulty mechanic in the game. As your characters increase in experience, the enemies get more numerous, meaning the end game is wall-to-wall -wall zombies. However, while skill can help you a lot in this game, some bad rolls or unlucky draws from the zombie deck can ruin it very quickly. There is nothing quite so rough as having an unkillable abomination turn up at the end of round 1. There are also some issues around firing into melee and action order that annoy some players. If the gameplay sounds fun, but you hate the post-apocalypse, I recommend its sibling game, Zombicide Black Plague. For a similar looking game, but with less over-the-top action and more dramatic tension, I recommend The Walking Dead No Sanctuary.